Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So I was in at Long and McQuaid today um, to pick up some felt guitar picks. Those are, though these are not the ones I was looking for or hoping that were in stock. Because I gave them a call and said, hey, are they in stock yet? And they thought they they had the, the right ones that I was after. But they ended up with these because the other ones are a pack of five. They're smaller, different colors and stuff. Um, but anyways, I thought, well, okay, I'll try these in the meantime. And they were $1.40 a piece. So um, I mainly got these for the bass guitar, but I thought, let's see what they sound like on an acoustic too while we're at it. Now what I usually use is a 0.46 millimeter. So here's the, the 0.46 millimeter pick. I find a lot better and better control too. These are pretty stiff and pretty big. Let's see if I can hold this as close as I hold a normal pick. So yeah, I'm going to say I don't like them for the acoustic and very hard to control because there's no real give in them. So let's try them on what we bought them for. actually do work a lot better um, and they sound a little bit better too on the bass than a thinner pick does that's more flexible so I think these are okay so hopefully uh, Long McQuaid will get in the ones that I actually want um, eventually and uh, we'll be able to show you those ones too but I think as far as a regular guitar goes um, number one these things are huge okay uh, especially when you compare them against a standard size pick like that's that's a bit of a difference there whoops see if we can get this you notice it's, mu it's it is much longer and uh, wider it's also like way thick um, which is fine for, for uh, like I said for the base it works pretty decently um, but uh, as far as for the regular guitar for me no you guys you know some of you might like it there's a lot of guys that actually like to have really thick picks and uh, you know, I'm just not one of them because thicker and no res no give also means a higher chance of breaking strings, which is why I went to thinner picks to begin with years ago, because I would break strings 
um, using thicker picks because I used to use a 0.73 millimeter and um, now I'm at 0.46 for every genre of music out there. Um, so, but these are, are, are okay on the bass. I, I, I think I like them. Um, I'm probably going to like the other ones more because they're more of a standard size pick physically. So I'll get even more control. But uh, I think these are okay. They're not too bad. And for $1.40 a piece, you know, it's a shot. And uh, I think the price was, uh, oh, it's not too bad. You know, I can't really complain about the price at all. Um, but uh, I do think that these are best myself uh, for bass guitar players that want to use a pick. So that's my uh, thought on that. As far as overall goes, um, if you were to put these into, I want to put this one into two categories for you. For guitar players, two out of five. For bass guitar players, I would put these things somewhere around probably about a four, solid four out of five. So it's kind of whichever way you want to go with it. Um, you know, and I, I, I've never done a, like a dual review before until now, but it's kind of like this is one of those things where I guess you got to kind of do a dual. Uh, so that's where I'm at with that. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll definitely catch you on the next video.